Whether used in movies or commercials or even cartoons, Grieg's first suite from Pyrgint has themes and melodies so iconic that they've become ingrained in our popular culture in a way that few other classical music pieces ever have. Originally written as incidental music for the Henrik Ibsen play, Pyrgint includes four pieces that Grieg selected from the larger score, two of which are instantly recognizable, Morning Mood and In the Hall of the Mountain King. Growing up, I didn't have a great deal of access or exposure to classical music, so much of what I learned and heard was through popular culture. I remember first hearing these pieces in the Saturday morning cartoon, The Smurfs. Although this music is often heard in cartoons or children's concerts or pops concerts, the music itself is wonderfully written and masterfully orchestrated and is perfectly at home at a classical music concert. As a bassoonist, my favorite movement in the first suite is the final movement in the Hall of the Mountain King. It opens with one of the most iconic bassoon duets in the orchestral repertoire. It begins with the two bassoons in octaves, the second bassoonist in the lowest reaches of the instrument, playing the theme very staccato. This theme eventually is joined by other instruments and in the finale is whipped into a frenzy of madness. One of the most exciting parts of my job is that not only do I get to make music on a regular basis with a world-class conductor like Christoph Eschenbach, we also get to make music with new conductors. Conductors that are up and coming, conductors we haven't seen before. Krzysztof Urbanski is making his debut with the National Symphony this week and it's always exciting to see what sort of unique perspective, what new take a uh, young conductor can bring to a piece that we've heard many times before. It's exciting for the orchestra as well as the audience. I'm Stephen Wilson, second bassoonist in the National Symphony Orchestra. NSO, so inspiring. Hope to see you at the concert.